More and more Americans are falling behind on bills, especially when it comes to credit card payments. This credit card concern seems to be especially true for Gen Z. New research from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York shows that roughly one in seven Gen Z credit card borrowers have maxed out on their credit cards. Michael Yoshida explains why. As Wall Street hits historic highs and unemployment remains low, experts say cost of living continues to be a struggle for millions of Americans, with many turning to their credit cards to make payments. Credit card balances have been on a really steep incline lately. High inflation and high interest rates are really squeezing borrowers. The New York Fed recently found that for Gen Z credit card users, who it defines as those born between 1995 and 2011, around 15 percent have maxed out their credit cards. For Gen Xers, the number is 9.6 percent. And for baby boomers, the number drops to just under 5 percent. Gen Zers tend to have lower credit limits because they're newer to credit. So it is easier to max out, let's say, a credit card with a $1,000 limit or $2,000 limit as opposed to maybe $5,000 that, that somebody who's more established might have. A third of maxed out borrowers, those using 90 to 100 percent of their limit, have gone delinquent in the last year, compared to less than a quarter before the pandemic. With severe delinquencies, those 90 days overdue at their highest level since 2012. While many Americans of all ages are struggling, high inflation and high interest rates are making it especially difficult for young people to get established. It does seem to be hitting young adults the hardest because they have lower incomes, they have lower credit scores. There's a record amount of young adults who are living with parents because these household formation costs have really never been higher. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.